Okay, before we get to our next question, let's take a quick pause and talk to you about our friends over at Pagotcha's Pub 85. That's Pagotcha's Pub 85 in Kirkland. I was just over there yesterday. I was meeting up with some friends, having some drinks. Why? Because it's an awesome place to hang out. There's sports on, there's great food, they have great pizza, and some great happy hour specials. Those are from Monday through Friday, 2 to 6 p.m. They include $3 domestic beers, $4 Manny's Blue Moons, $4 Mac and Jacks, $4 Wells, and $4 house wine. So you want to go watch some football, some basketball, some hockey, and a couple months baseball when it starts, and go hang out with your friends, and go eat and drink, and have a good time, head over there to Pagotcha's Pub 85 in Kirkland. Question number four. We've got a few more of these to go. Question number four. Okay, this is a very long one. This is from a YouTube commenter who's got a long username, so we're not going to read it. But I will, I will read this long tweet here. He said, wanted to throw some trade ideas your way. I think these could help round out the offense. He has given three. Between Seattle and the Cardinals is the first one. The Mariners give Emerson Hancock and Dylan Moore to St. Louis. They get back Brendan Donovan. That's number one. Number two, between Seattle and the Cincinnati Reds, the Mariners would send Matt Brash, Cade Marlowe, Gabby Gonzalez, and Jonathan Classe to Cincinnati. The Mariners would get back TJ Friedel and a little bit of money. He said three to $5 million. The third one he sent was the Mariners send Ty Adcock, Taylor Trammell, and Robert Perez to the Pirates. And in return, they get Connor Joe. So those are three different trades that he's thrown out. They're all with NL Central teams. And we thought we'd talk about them here on the show. Is there any of those three, Tej, that stood out? TJ Friedel's the best of the bunch. And if uh, it would cost the most, because that would be the one where you send Matt Brash. But TJ Friedel plays center field for the Reds. 352 on base percentage, a 116 WRC plus. He's plus in the outfield. Het was worth four and a half wins this season, struck out just 16% of the time. Uh, our friend here says, hey, TJ Friedel, if you trade for him, you could slot him in and hit him number one or number two in this lineup. Uh, eh, maybe. Maybe it would be one. I don't think it would be two if he was going to hit up there. But TJ Friedel is a very valuable Major League Baseball player. And if you're comfortable with replacing Matt Brash and you you trust the Mariners to replace the production you couldn't replace the stuff but you could probably replace Matt Brash's production with a different reliever then this would make your team considerably better I think to be honest when I'm looking at these three trades he's not suggesting they do just one trade he's suggesting they do all three of these and here's why he's suggesting that when you do all three of these trades, what do you check off? Okay, so Jerry said they need an outfielder and a half this offseason. Well, these three trades bring you one full-time outfielder in TJ Frito. It brings you the half in Connor Joe, who mashes left-handers, which they could use to platoon with Dom Canzone. And then you, of course, have Julio Rodriguez out there as well. But it will also bring bring you an infielder in Brendan Donovan who can play second base and which will shift your platoon from second base to third base on the infield. It really, it does solve some issues here. And for the combination of these three trades, the biggest hit would be Mac Brash. So you would also give up Emerson Hancock in these deals. You'd be giving up your top stuff reliever and you'd be giving up your number one depth arm in your organization. If you are okay trading those guys and you feel confident the Mariners could replace them, then these trades do make your lineup better. And they make your lineup better strategically and just overall good as well because you have full, you're going to get full-time players. I do have to respond to one thing in these trade proposals. I think this is a very, very low sell on Brendan Donovan. I don't think the Cardinals are accepting this trade. I guess it depends on how they view Emerson Hancock, but assuming they do not still view him as the guy that was taken number six overall in 2020, it's hard to imagine they get back Brendan Donovan for that. Now, if it's Bryce Miller, then maybe. That that could make some real sense, and we've talked about that for months. But it's hard to see Emerson Hancock and Dylan Moore being a package that could get you back Brendan Donovan, a guy who has proven to be a very good big league hitter at a young age. That and, being said. And $3 million. <laughs> that too. That, that would be a little steep. So that all being said, 
if these were all the trades that were executed, or if we flip Hancock for Miller and execute all these trades. Let's play another round of what would the Mariners look like in this scenario? Because we've done it on the last few shows. Let's do it here again. If all three of these three of these trades were executed, we are talking about, I think JP leads off, Julio second, Cal Raleigh would be third, Garver would be fourth, Brendan Donovan would be fifth, Ty France would hit sixth, Friedel would hit seventh, Canzone would hit eighth, Rojas would hit ninth. And again, maybe it's not as quite as good as the lineup we threw out on Wednesday's podcast with Paredes and Rosarena in it. That's a competitive lineup. It's a lot deeper. You got some good bats. Friedel's a very good outfielder. It's a lot better than what it currently sets at. And if it were these trades, you'd keep both of your valuable assets in the rotation. Both of them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have to worry. Well, I, again, in this scenario, I'm saying you might have to make it Bryce Miller. In, 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 the, scenar- in the scenario he gave us, yes, you'd keep both Miller and Wu. Mm-hmm. I'm saying if we modify it a little bit, assuming that it would probably cost one of the arms to get Donovan, then yeah. Are you okay trading Bryce Miller for just Brandon Donovan? You might need a little more at this point. Again, it, it, like we talked about on Wednesday's pod, if the market for starting pitching is as crazy as it has been and it continues that way, you should get more than that for Brendan for Brendan Donovan. Six years of Bryce Miller should get you more than that. But, it should. Yeah, but, Brendan Donovan's already 26. Yeah. Right. I don't think it could get you Jordan Walker. I, again, I, I, I have a hard time believing the Cardinals would move away from him, even though it would be an unreal get. Is Dylan Carlson enough to get back with Donovan in that trade? That's another outfielder, although he's had his struggles. Maybe. Give it, giving Miller up, you would get Brendan Donovan and Dylan Carlson. Hypothetically. Is, is that enough? Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, then yes. So, so, like, so, okay, so if that was the case, again, they get t- very significantly better with these three mm-hmm. trades. And it sure it does hurt. You're going to give up Brash and Bryce Miller. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. But in terms of getting better, you're getting better. Mm-hmm. So, sure. I like these traits. I'm glad this person went through the time to think these out. I think, I think these are very good, solid traits. And I think they're realistic, too. Like, entirely. Yeah. Like, to be honest, like, shout out for the Connor Joe one. Like, I wasn't even thinking about trading for Connor Joe, but he made the point. Hey, listen, Connor Joe hits lefties really well. He's got a 122 WRC plus against lefties. Throw him in there in the outfield with Dom Canzone. That can be your outfield platoon. And he essentially, Connor Joe probably replaces the role of Dylan Moore in the outfield. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to him for thinking these out. These are well thought out. Again, I would just modify the Hancock trade a little bit because it feels a little bit low, but especially the the trades as a whole, for the most part, are very well thought out. And the players you're getting back are also well thought out, especially with Friedel. The Mariners and Reds make a lot of trades. Mariners very much need an outfielder. This would make a lot of sense. And all three of these guys do make the team better. 